So let's talk about some of the improvements in the Project Gantt chart. So in the Project CAN chart, there have been actually several different uh, improvements that you see on the screen here. And we're going to go through a handful of these as we go uh, through these. Um, but there's been several improvements to this to make the uh, Project CAN chart much more user friendly and much more user uh, intuitive for people to use. Now, you'll see that there's some of the colors that are the ones that are in the lighter purple boxes. These are actual functionality that need to be um, set up through a developer as far as do through the uh, page uh, designer that you're going to be able to do. So I'm not going to really cover that because we're really talking about user improvements. Uh, but these other items that you're going to see on here are going to be things that the users will see or can set up for themselves. So we'll go through these. Um, I do have slides for the ones that are in lighter purple that will, uh, you once you download the uh, PowerPoint, you'll be able to get some more information about those. Uh, but we're really not going to cover those at this point. So the first one is the Project Gantt itself. So you can take a look at, the, here's a snapshot of the Project Gantt chart. Um, it looks very similar uh, in some respects to the one that you might have seen in Apps 10, uh, but you'll start to notice some uh, very subtle changes um, in the way that the uh, toolbar looks and the way that it looks like when you highlight a line. Um, it gives you a kind of a dark charcoal background to that. And then you have a lot more tools up along the top of the bar here uh, to be able to see uh, and work with Within the uh, Gantt chart itself and within the line that you've got highlighted in your Gantt chart. So the first thing is a couple of new item shapes have been introduced here. Um, the first one's a cross bracket and then we have a thin bracket and then we have a highlight line. So these are functionalities that are uh, that you'll see on the screen that are uh, able to be seen depending on how you want to set them up to actually be able to draw attention to very specific uh, items on the Gantt chart itself. So you'll kind of, you'll couple of see a couple new item shapes that might show up on your Gantt chart, depending on how you have that set up. The other thing is that there's now some in the settings, you have the ability to configure your time scale and you also have the ability to configure your snap time. Um, in the snap time, uh, you do have a wide range of units and values there. In the units, it can go uh, as little as minutes, go to hours, days, weeks, months, or years, and then whatever the value for that uh, parameter for the unit that you're trying to use. So again, these are user configured uh, time scales for your project Gantt chart. Within that same uh, uh, screen that you set up for the configuration for the time snap, snap time and uh, time settings, um, you also have the ability to reset to your Gantt chart settings. So uh, there is a reset button that's down there. So if you've uh, made some mistakes or not sure how you've gotten to what you're looking at, um, you can reset that and bring it back to the default system values. So the other one is the ability to multi-select the different dependencies. So the dependencies in the Project Gantt chart are the black lines that are connecting the different activities or the sub-projects to each other. So now you have the ability to select or multi-select more than one dependency and then be able to do that. And when I multi-select it, it takes it from a, a thinner black line to more of a bold black line. Um, and of course, if I hover over any of the dependencies, I get to see uh, floating toolbar information about that uh, specific dependency as well. So one of the other changes is in the toggle uh, legend items. So you have the ability to actually turn on and off the different legend items that you want to be able to see, um, that you see within the uh, legend itself. So again, you'll see I've got my project and sub project, I've got my different activities. Um, so depending on which one of these you may be using, you might be not be using all of these, you can turn these on and off. And again, the milestone activities, and there are several others down, they're listed down below. But I have the ability to either toggle off the entire set Section or the individual items uh, within this by clicking on the uh, right, upper right hand of the legend icon in the Gantt chart itself. You also have the ability to select multiple items from your Gantt chart and then be able to move those. So here I'm selecting the three red lines and I'm moving those further out into the future and I'm able to move that as a group. And again, there are some uh, features and functions that you're able to do with this um, and be able to do that. Again, I also pointed out that there are some other um, functionality within the Project Gantt chart, um, but those take, uh, you have to actually set those up, the parameters for them to be in the page designer and then be able to see those. And again, those are those light color purple boxes and you'll be able to, uh, I do have the slides that are hidden so you'll be able to see what you're able to do with that. So the next thing 